H. Wikipedia Audio H is the eighth letter in the ISO Basic Latin Alphabet. The original Semitic letter hate most likely represented the voiceless pharyngeal fricative. The form of the letter probably stood for offense or posts. The Greek eta eta in archaic Greek alphabets still represented slash h slash. In this context, the letter eta is also known as hita to underline this fact. Thus, in the old italic alphabets, the letter hita of the Yuboine alphabet was adopted with its original sound value slash h slash. History while Etruscan and Latin had slash h slash as a phoneme, almost all Romance languages lost the sound Romanian later reborrowed the slash h slash phoneme from its neighboring Slavic languages, and Spanish developed a secondary slash h slash from slash f slash, before losing it again, various Spanish dialects have developed as an allophone of slash s slash or slash x slash in most Spanish-speaking countries, and various dialects of Portuguese use it as an allophone of slash slash. H is also used in many spelling systems in digraphs and trigraphs, such as ch, which represents slash t slash in Spanish, Galician, Old Portuguese and English. Slash slash in French and modern Portuguese, slash k slash in Italian, French, and English, slash x slash in German, Czech, Polish, Slovak, one native word of English and a few loan words into English, and slash c slash in German. For most English speakers, the name for the letter is pronounced as slash et slash and spelled h or occasionally each. The pronunciation slash h et slash and the associated spelling h is often considered to be h adding and is considered non-standard in England. It is, however, a feature of Hiberno-English. The perceived name of the letter affects the choice of indefinite article before initialisms beginning with h for example an H-bomb or a H-bomb. The pronunciation slash het slash may be a hypercorrection formed by analogy with the names of the other letters of the alphabet, most of which include the sound they represent. The H pronunciation of H has spread in England, being used by approximately 24% of English people born since 1982 and polls continue to show this pronunciation becoming more common among younger native speakers. Despite this increasing number, the pronunciation without the slash h slash sound is still considered to be standard in England, although the pronunciation with slash h slash is also attested as a legitimate variant. Authorities disagree about the history of the letter's name. The Oxford English Dictionary says the original name of the letter was in Latin, this became in Vulgar Latin, passed into English via Old French, and by Middle English was pronounced. The American Heritage Dictionary of the English language derives it from French hatch from Latin hacka or heek. Anatoly Lieberman suggests a conflation of two obsolete orderings of the alphabet, one with H immediately followed by K and the other without any K, reciting the formers, H, K, L, as a KL, when reinterpreted for the latter, H, L, would imply a pronunciation a K for H. In English, H occurs as a single letter grapheme and in various digraphs, such as ch slash t slash, slash slash, slash k slash, or slash x slash, gh, ph, rh, sh, th, wh. The letter is silent in a syllable rhyme, as in a, om, dahlia, cheetah, poo pooed as well as in certain other words such as our, honest, herb and vehicle. Initial slash h slash is often not pronounced in the weak form of some function words including had, has, 
have, he, her, him, his, and in some varieties of English it is often omitted in all words. It was formerly common for an rather than a to be used as the indefinite article before a word beginning with slash h slash in an unstressed syllable, as in an historian, but use of a is now more usual. In the German language, the name of the letter is pronounced slash ha slash. Following a vowel, it often silently indicates that the vowel is long, in the word erhoen, the second H is mute for most speakers outside of Switzerland. In 1901, a spelling reform eliminated the silent H in nearly all instances of TH in native German words such as Thun or Thursday. It has been left unchanged in words derived from Greek, such as theater and thrun, which continue to be spelled with TH even after the last German spelling reform. In Spanish and Portuguese, H, or AGA in Portuguese, pronounced or is a silent letter with no pronunciation, as in Ejo in Hungaro. The spelling reflects an earlier pronunciation of the sound slash H slash. It is sometimes pronounced with the value, in some regions of Andalusia, Extremadura, Canarias, Cantabria, and the Americas in the beginning of some words. H also appears in the digraph CH, which represents slash T slash in Spanish and Northern Portugal, and slash slash in oral traditions that merged both sounds e.g. in most of the Portuguese language and some Spanish-speaking places, prominently Chile, as well as NH slash slash and LH slash slash in Portuguese, whose spelling is inherited from Occitan. In French, the name of the letter is pronounced slash a slash. The French orthography classifies words that begin with this letter in two ways, one of which can affect the pronunciation, even though it is a silent letter either way. The H muet, or mute H, is considered as though the letter were not there at all, so for example the singular definite article le or la, which is elided to l before a vowel, elides before an H muet followed by a vowel. For example, le and hebergement becomes l hebergement. The other kind of H is called H aspire, and does not allow elision or liaison. For example in le homed the article le remains unelided, and may be separated from the noun with a bit of a glottal stop. Most words that begin with an H muet come from Latin or from Greek through Latin, whereas most words beginning with an H aspire come from Germanic or non-Indo-European languages. In some cases, an orthographic H was added to disambiguate the and semi-vowel pronunciations before the introduction of the distinction between the letters V and U, Hewitt, Hutri. Name in English in Italian, H has no phonological value. Its most important uses are in the digraph ch slash k slash and gh slash slash, as well as to differentiate the spellings of certain short words that are homophones, for example some present tense forms of the verb aver, and in short interjections. Some languages, including Czech, Slovak, Hungarian, and Finnish, use H as a breathy voiced glottal fricative, often as an allophone of otherwise voiceless slash H slash in a voiced environment. In Hungarian, the letter has five independent pronunciations, perhaps more than in any other language, with an additional three uses as a productive and non-productive member of a digraph. H may represent slash H slash as in the name of the Sikli town Harjata, intervocalically it represents slash slash as in Tihe, it represents slash X slash in the word Do, it represents slash C slash in Elit, and it is silent in Kset. As part of a diphthong, it represents, in archaic spelling, slash T slash with the letter C as in the name Zekanii. It represents, 
again, with the letter C, slash X slash N pec, in certain environments it breaks palatalization of a consonant, as in the name horty which is pronounced, and finally, it acts as a silent component of a diphthong, as in the name Varga, pronounced. In Ukrainian and Belarusian, when written in the Latin alphabet, H is also commonly used for slash slash, which is otherwise written with the Cyrillic letter. In Irish, H is not considered an independent letter, except for a very few non-native words, however H placed after a consonant is known as a CMIU and indicates lenition of that consonant, H began to replace the original form of a CMIU, a dot placed above the consonant, after the introduction of typewriters. In most dialects of Polish, both H and the digraph CH always represent slash X slash. As a phonetic symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet, it is used mainly for the so-called aspirations, and variations of the plain letter are used to represent two sounds, the lowercase form H represents the voiceless glottal fricative, and the small capital form represents the voiceless epiglottal fricative. With a bar, minuscule is used for a voiceless pharyngeal fricative. Specific to the IPA, a hooked is used for a voiced glottal fricative, and a superscript is used to represent aspiration. Use in writing systems English One and all encodings based on ASCII, including the DOS, Windows, ISO 8859 and Macintosh families of encodings. Other languages Other systems Related characters Descendants and related characters in the Latin alphabet Ancestors, siblings, and descendants in other alphabets. Derived signs, symbols, and abbreviations. Computing codes. Other representations.